Imagine a time and place where people from all around the world work together to develop new inventions, discover new knowledge, and understand more about our universe. A place where the language was science used to make the world a better place. Such a time and place existed. It was a long time ago and has almost been forgotten. Once upon a time, there lived a remarkable woman called Maryam al Ijlia. This amazing woman has a very unusual story to tell. Unlike most other women in the 10th century, she took up trade and was famous for her skillful instrument making. Her father had been an apprentice in Baghdad to a famous maker of astrolabs, intricate devices for land navigation and time telling. She also became his pupil and learned everything that was needed to know about astrolabs. I am Mariam El Ajliya. I was a 10th century scholar who pioneered the development of astrolabes, a medieval device that was the GPS of its day. The Muslims used them to find the Qibla, prayer times, and determine starting days for Ramadan and Eid. Basically, an astrolabe is an old fashioned smartphone also known as Al Astrolabia. Miriam worked constructing astrolabs in Aleppo, northern Syria. She was employed by Saif al Dawla, the ruler who was in charge of the city. Al Ijlia is a rare documented case of a woman working in science in early Muslim civilization. Today, opportunities for women to work in science have widened considerably. And so, as we see great Muslim minds have walked this earth as scholars, scientists, doctors, philosophers, and engineers, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So if you dare to imagine like those before us, you will become creators who bring dreams to life.